Big Anxious 47 here. From Arby's? Dude, I so want some of those and I have cash. If you want it. Oh, okay. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. Alright, where's my... There's my... Cool. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Just bear with me a minute. Sorry guys, I had to take care of that administrative business, so to speak. Some foods in the process. Now. Boop. We're going to have a chat with this... Ah on it. There we go. We're gonna have a chat with this dude. You know, because of reasons. Hi. An unfortunate matter. Huh. Is it lightning happening in the background there? Your actions in this matter were not only justified, they were vital to our mission. With all of that behind us, we can shift our focus back to our wartime preparations. Uh huh. I. Uh, I'm ready. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the institute. Need to address another threat. The railroad. They're a small really? group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Railroad threat? Even with their relatively small numbers. The railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against the civilian hmm. forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the railroad Interesting. completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, Here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Mm-hmm. No... Prisoners? They all have to die. Absolutely. It's the only effective way of ensuring that they're no longer a threat. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. Uh -huh. Calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. Cute, huh? They use the robot uh -huh. for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this hollow tape to decrypt the security on PAM's terminal, it will force hmm. the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put PAM's computing power to good use. Otherwise, right. destroy it. Wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. Collecting technology for you is becoming a habit, Proctor. <laughs> a habit you appreciate, I hope. I'm certain the paladin I gotcha. that the acquisition of technology is one of our most sacred tenets. When you're ready, proceed to the old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Add Victoria, Paladin. Shit. 
What? I am now enemies with the... Ha! <laughs> no. We're going to actually load, because we're not, not ready to do that yet. Um... Yeah. We're gonna not do this part yet. Just because um, I need to finish more of the railroads quests first. <sighs> All right. I kind of figured that that would be the case, actually. So, no worries there. We're not talking to them yet. It's crazy though, like it's an immediate switch. You know, you're not enemies with so and so. Just like when you have dance with you, you're an enemy of the Brotherhood. Rah. Rage face. I wonder if you take Maxon out, if you can get dance to be allowed back in. Guess we'll see. Alright, first things first. I wants to go get my dog. So let's do that. And then we're going to go... Uh, we're going to go to the meeting. In the, in the institute. I kind of want to help the synths escape. Maybe set it up for them to, to, to do to do their thing, and then like uh -huh. head out and go to the meeting. <laughs> Dog meat. Hey, buddy. Hey. hey. Let's go. You've been spending too much time chilling out in chilling out in Sanctuary Hills, buddy. Like a long time. It's you looking all badass with your armor and stuff. Yeah. Mm. No. We're not doing that right now. We want to do the oh, where is that? Yeah, let's go here and do that. Well, that's not good. Damn it! My poster is starting to fall down. Is my dog with me? Is it only... Ugh, that's stupid. Fine. If we're doing this stealth mode, I'm probably going to need to not be in my... Well, let's see how, how, how this all turns out first. Focusing crystals and a couple other things. Go, Go on. The Institute's always expanding. Excavation just completed on one of the sublevels. The mining equipment mm -hmm. has been packed into the crates and they haven't been moved yet. That equipment has everything we need. Thanks to Mr. Binet, the construction crew is populated solely by my friends. But they're under constant supervision. How do you feel right. about killing some guards? Only if necessary. If it's necessary. We could come up with no other way. After you eliminate the guards. Oh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Tunnels behind us. To the SRB, it will be a 
tragic construction accident that killed many since. Rare, mm -hmm. not unheard of. And then our dead friends can assemble the weapons we need. Good luck. Hmm. So I can't just talk them out of of doing various things? I mean come on man. Get your shit together. Alright, before I do that, I that's gonna that's gonna draw some ire. Let's let's go to the meeting first. <clears throat> Is it above? Below? Right here? So what? Oh, yeah, it's above. Got it. Some more stairs up somewhere. Is that up? Damn, it's down. <sighs> Not what I needed. Thank you. That makes me sad. Good. Accessible. Sit here. Still higher up? Yes, it is. How do I get up there? Oh. Right here. It's fair enough. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address <laughs> But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise as we're all aware. Yeah. All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo is keeping hmm. an eye on things topside. Yes. Uh, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs. Increased activity. Boston International Airport remains occupied. Uh huh. Right. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Excuse me, but sir, sir, are you sure this is well the yeah. proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean, given all parties present. Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? Mm, uh, of course. Really? Well, there's no shame in being out of the loop, is it worth? The project has been classified for quite a long time. <laughs> I have no idea what phase three is. As I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking uh -huh. about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance yeah. the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Uh, it's mm, sarcastic. Right. Such hard times down here. I would never disagree that life in the Institute is <laughs> above ground. We have done much to ensure it. Now, we yeah. take things even further. Phase three is simply the activation, the activation. The that can provide enough power to the institute now and forever. It will ensure Whoa. not just our survival, but our prosperity. Really? That's important. Like an important step. That's well. 
That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready. But recent tests have uh -huh. determined we have a few... This one's going to run a little bit later. Thus, we come to phase three. And to how... Which is? Sir. Yes, Dr. Hale. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yet. Well, well, he's gone. He is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Y yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. That's super surreal. There is one more subject that requires... Discussion. Being younger than your son. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. <laughs> I'm sure several of you yeah. are already aware. I have been under Dr. Bogert's care for some time. I'm sorry. Right. This is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Experimental treatment. The experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! Please, can't be serious. everyone, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. Not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. We can talk more later. Right now the future of the institute is sick. The cannot survive without leadership. Okay. The directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end. <laughs> I am naming my father as my successor. Oh boy. You can't be serious. <laughs> really? How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply <laughs> say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my yeah. father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. So much dialogue. Conclude this meeting. Thank you. Cool. Alright. We're out of time, guys. 